Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Witch's Roots box uh, for the month of August, which is my birth month, so I'm very excited to see what's in it. it smells good, but it always does. Ooh. So I'll come to this at the end. Sage. Lovely. Classic. Super, super potent. One of probably the things I use the most is sage. Um, all right. Let's see. Ooh. I got a ooh. big, beautiful. Oh, wow. Pretty. I love that. Beautiful. Love it. Dealer bottles up here. We got some beautiful sage. And <coughs> sorry, there's like something in the candle, but also we could be getting a little sick. So my husband hasn't been feeling very good. Um, and usually those things kind of run rampant in a household. So Let us see. Ah, I'm just ruining this. Ooh, it's black. Yeah, it's black. Cool. And of course, we got a beautiful smidge. This is a spuet, I can tell. Spuet for a ritual oil. That's almost certainly in here. And there she is. Oh my gosh. It's, I love the smell of sage. It's so wonderful. I'm quite fond of many herbs. Ooh, is this kind of sealed? Oh, there we go. Just sticky on one end. Oop. The shield. Oh, oh, and there's a big old piece of cord in there. Let me turn it a little more. Do you see the big quartz right there? Let me smell it. Oh, God, bless my heart. Oh. Mmm, I'm definitely getting like a clove or something. Hmm. All right, let's see the last little item. Oh, no stone here. Reminds me a little bit of a tooth. All right, I'm gonna put the stone up here so you can see it. That way you can see everything in the box. The Witch's Shield. There may be many threats to us on our journey that can affect our physical, emotional, and spiritual self. As practitioners, we focus on the energy of protection we cast around us and those that we love and care for. The act of casting a protective net can become a daily habit and is most reliable when focused upon regularly. These practices can be used around the home and sacred space or in our vehicles and workspace places to ensure that we are constantly covered from being affected by unwanted energies and emotion. It holds truths. It holds true that like attracts like. This is very this very principle reminds us that we must keep a barrier of protection around the energy that we manifest during our rituals and meditations. Join us this month of August as we work to strengthen our witches sealed, imbuing protection among our sacred space. The magical items in this box are as follows. Ground sage. Unlike white sage, ground sage or common sage is used in the kitchen and has been included in many healing elixirs for centuries. Um, there's more there. The shield body ritual oil. So it's coconut oil, um, frankincense, myrrh, clove, and cedar. It smells delicious. And the Lumarian quartz. There's a myrrh and blue sage stick. And there's a protection spell candle and a pentacle wind chime. So I love bells as magical tools to repel evil. So one of my very, I know it's not um, 
like gospel. <laughs> but one of my favorite um, representations of magic is the Aberson series by Garth Nix. And she, the Aberson, which is a woman, Lyriel, and then, or Sabriel and then Lyriel, uh, fights evil with bells. And it's pretty freaking good. So check that out. The Aberson series. Sabriel is the first book and it's by Garth Nix. Um, but ever since then, I've always, always, always loved bells for um, magical clearing of spaces. Um, Pentacle Wind Chime, Onyx, Tumbled Stone, and Ground Sage Herbal Grimmery Artwork. Beautiful, beautiful box. I love it very much. Um, something that is, it's like, um, it's amazing how intuitive Natalie is. Um, she was talking to me just before I got all these boxes about the need for this and I'm pretty excited to start putting this into use. I've got <laughs> I've got some pretty cool ideas for um, witches bottles and um, for a buildable protection spell for the property um, as well as just some general ideas for some magical housekeeping that needs to be done. So I believe when I was in the military and I shared a dorm with um, a good friend who happened to be of the Muslim faith, uh, yes, she's a Muslim, a follower of Islam, and I was having all these nightmares, and she told me that one of the things that her specific culture believed was that, um, dirty rooms and, and other types of chaos like that attracted chaos, um, or demons or bad energies, and that, um, we should clean the room. Um, and it worked. I didn't have nightmares. So every time, and to this day, when we have bad energy or things are just not going well in my house and a friend's house and a loved one's house, um, me and my husband especially will just like, we'll clean everything and then we'll sage everything in the Wittershins, um, direction with all the windows open, sage, 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 and then with prayer. And then we'll come back around clockwise uh, with Palo Santo for blessings. So that is due at my house. It's kind of getting kind of messy because we've been so busy. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this box. Um, 600 subscriber giveaways coming up. It, it's, it is my work week, so it's probably not going to be for a few more days. Uh, but there will be tons of prizes. Um, there are also um an end of month giveaway um slash collection video that will be coming up um stay tuned because i was thinking to have a little survey of like what you guys would like to see next so stay tuned for that um and you know the astrology study group is going great i think um i'm gonna post tonight i've got some updates on the basic building blocks of zodiac signs uh, so that might be nice information and I've got a little sheet that I'm going to color um, I'll post the blank sheet so that if you want to you can um, print it uh, but I myself am going to color mine after it's posted and then I also will have like a little worksheet I did not create this worksheet or the coloring sheet it's from astrology for yourself the workbook um, so if you like those things, I would definitely recommend getting that book. It is amazing. So more of that on my hey, shh, on my Facebook page. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to uh, see your comments. Love you guys. Good night.